Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for another YouTube devotion here on We Are Ablaze TV. Really excited that you've joined us. We're going to continue to talk about having the best 2016 you can possibly have, and we're going to stay in the vein of making good, godly decisions. We're going to read this scripture and then we'll discuss it. We'll read the whole thing. This is Matthew 5, verses 13 through 15. It says that you are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it's lost its flavor? Can it be made salty again? Or will it be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless? Verse 14 says, is that you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it underneath a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everybody in the house. Notice in that scripture, he talked a lot about you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. God has made you salt. God has made you light. But just because God's made you salt, just because God's made you light, that doesn't mean you're going to be light. That doesn't mean that you're going to be salty. We have to make decisions to be light. We have to choose to be salt in this earth. And when I was thinking about this and praying about it, the Lord kind of showed me by way of an example. This flashlight has everything that it needs to be a light. It has all the components. It has batteries on the inside of it. It has a light bulb. It's got a mechanism that a container that holds it all together and and it has this switch here that even allows it to produce light but you know just because it has all the components doesn't mean it's going to be light in order for all these components to come together and be activated to make light somebody must still turn it on and once it's turned on then it becomes light it's kind of like us God has given us all these components to be light he's given us the Word of God he's given us a new heart according to the book of Ezekiel he's given us the Holy Spirit to teach us and to guide us he's given us wisdom and he's given us his word to help us all along the way and all of that is living on the inside of you but just because those components are there that doesn't mean that you're gonna be light what does it take how do we activate it the only way we activate it is by making godly decisions you know, over in the book of Deuteronomy, in chapter 30, verse 19, it says, He called heaven and earth to, de to, to listen, and He said, Listen, I'm calling you to choose life or death. It is your decision, but you must decide. And then He told us to choose life. What are we saying? What is God saying? He's saying, I have given you all these components. I have made you to be an awesome force in the world in which you live. I've given you the best opportunity to have a fabulous 2016, to have an awesome 2016, to have the best year you've ever had, but you must choose life. You must activate these components that are on the inside of you by choosing to respond to God, by making godly decisions. Remember in Timothy, he said, I haven't given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. God has given you all the equipment we just as God's people must decide to follow the word and decide to follow after God just think about this for a minute every decision that you make every decision that you make is either choosing to be light or choosing to be darkness the choice is yours activate what God's put on the inside of you be light in this world and have a wonderful 2016 we love you guys and we'll see you next time on a blaze TV